I think mom and dad must have come. Let me check. You stopped the mail and went to open the door as you are so excited to meet your in-laws. Yes, it's been two years since you got married to your husband, John Jungkook. Both of your fathers are best friends, so because of that, they arranged marriage for you with Jungkook. As you both knew each other, agreed for this marriage. Hello, wine dear. They both greeted you with a bright smile as soon as you opened the door. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Come, come inside. You told the maid to put their luggage in the room which you have already arranged for them. You all went to the living room and made them sit in the couch comfortably. Meanwhile, you gave them juice as they came to your house in the afternoon. Mom, Dad, who are you? We are doing good, Wayan. Where is Jungkook? He is at office. She asked as she didn't see him anywhere in the house. Yeah, mom, you know about him, right? He became so busy after starting his company. But don't worry, he will be coming afternoon to have lunch with you. By the way, how is Leah and baby? Both are fine. You asked her while sitting in the couch. Both are fine, Vayin. Mother and baby are safe. You know, baby girl is so cute. She expressed her happiness over the baby. Your in laws stays in their hometown as they want to spend the rest of their life there. As one of your relatives' daughter gave a birth to a baby in Seoul as they live here, so your in laws came here to greet them and also to visit you and Jungkook. Ryan, have you both thought about baby? It's been Two years since you both got married, still you didn't give us a grandchild. At once, smile on your face faded away with his question. I also wanted to have, but my husband is not showing any interest, Dad. You thought to yourself and was spaced out for a while, but then your father-in-law brought you to reality. What are you thinking, Wayne? Is everything okay? Before you could answer him, Jaku came home from the office half an hour before the lunch time. Hi mom, hi dad. He greeted them and sat beside you. Hello my dear Jungkook, how are you? Jungkook and his parents had good conversation for a while. They talked about many things. Mom, food is ready. Please come. You all seated in the chairs of dining table to have food. As the maid was putting food on the plate, you also seated. Ryan, how is your work going? I forgot. You haven't went to hospital today? She asked while sipping the water from glass. No, Mom. I have told the junior daughter to take care of kids. If there is any urgency, then I will attend. You came after many months, so I should be with you these two days, right? You are working as a pediatrician in a reputed hospital. So for your in-laws, you took permission from the management to stay at home. You are having food, so your mother-in-law brought the topic which Jungkook doesn't like to hear. Jungkook, when are you going to visit Leah? You know her baby is so cute. You both visit her early. You looked at Jungkook who was busy in his eating without even looking at his mother. Jungkook, you hear me? Yeah mom, I'm sorry. I can't go. I have hectic work at the office. Vyan will go there. Leah's hospital is on the way to Vyan's hospital. Is that okay Vyan? As you already know his answer, you just nodded at him. His mother sighed in disbelief but let go as his father told her to be calm by patting her hand. Mom, I will go to her, don't worry. You looked at Jungkook curling up your lips as you were disappointed and put the food in your mouth 
for a while house was silent until his mother spoke again jungo can i ask you something what's that mom when are you going to give us grandchildren it's been 2 years since you are married me and your father feel like playing with your baby so have you thought about it at once he stopped eating food and looking at his plate as if he was getting angry about it he was tapping his fingers on the table to control his anger and emotions <laughs> why didn't, didn't you say this to them you were clueless about what he was asking so you are also stuttering with confusion what what's that chungkook come on wine did you forget did you forget about our plans mom actually we decided to grow in our career first later we will have a baby once we settle in always am i right wine he was gesturing with his looks to say yes to them yeah yeah sorry i forgot about it we plan to settle first Later we will have mom. Now Jungkook's company is growing well. At this moment we cannot concentrate on baby and work, right? So we'll just postpone it for some months. Don't know what's wrong with this generation. Who would make plans like this for having a baby? It's not career or house plan, right? It's okay. It's okay. We asked out of curiosity, but when you are not ready, we cannot force, right? Your in-laws left from there to room as they were upset. Thanks for supporting me, Wayan. He also said and left to the office, leaving you in a misery. You were also upset with Jungkook in this matter. You don't know his reason behind hatred towards babies, but it hurts you a lot because you want to have a baby. It's not like Jungkook doesn't like you. He loves you a lot and take good care of you. But from a few months you have observed changes in his behavior. He doesn't like to listen about babies. Whenever you bring the topic, he asks you to don't talk about it. He even stop getting intimate with you. All this hurt you but remains silent for him. You came home after visiting Leah and sat on the bed putting your purse and phone beside you. As mom said, the baby is so cute. Even Leah is so happy for being a mother. As a pediatrician, I'm seeing baby's kids daily, but what about my baby? When can I have mine? Thinking about it, a tear escaped from your eye. Not only today, for many days, you are so sad about the baby and also about Jungkook's behavior. Here in Jungkook's cabin, he was checking some files. As he heard the knock on the door, which was done by his secretary, he gave permission to her to come inside. Excuse me, sir. Yes, yeah. Please tell me," he replied, looking at file. "Sir, Mr. Kim is not attending the meeting. His wife is in maternity ward, so he requested to postpone the meeting. Can I, sir?" After hearing it, he slipped to his thoughts. Sia called him many times, but he didn't reply. Fortunately, at last he heard her and responded back. Sure, postpone it. Nothing is more important than family. Just tell him to take care of his wife and child. Okay, sir. She left his cabin. He threw his head to the chair, backrest, and was thinking about what his mother asked in the afternoon. Here, you were deeply thinking about baby. Then you got a call from your friend who was working with you in the same hospital. so that you lifted the call after wiping the tears which stayed at the corner of your eyes hello mina hi wayan i have a good news to share with you you noticed from her voice that she was so happy and excited what is that mina why am i breaking today after taking the test it was confirmed you know right i have been waiting for this since 3 years Finally I'm going to be a mother.
Wow, congratulations Meena. I'm really happy for you. Now your wish became true. You greeted her wholeheartedly as you are also same boat. You understood her pain she had gone through before this. Yes, Rahul. I hope you also become a mother soon. I know how much you love kids. Okay, Vyan, I will call you again. She hung up the call leaving you broken. As time passed, Jungkook reached home finishing his work at office. He went to the closet to pick his pajamas without even talking with you. I think I need to talk about this with Jungkook. As you made up your mind, you went near him to ask about his problem for having a baby. Jungkook, I want to talk with you. Not no Vyan, I'm so tired. We we'll talk later. He said closing the closet after taking his clothes and about to go to the bathroom. But then you stopped him extending your hand forward or you can say blocked. No Jungkook, I am also tired of everything. You should talk with me today at any cost. I want to clear some things with you. You said firmly looking straight into his eyes, making him sigh at your behavior. Okay, fine. What do you want to talk about? He asked, folding his hands across the chest. Why are you being away from me? I want to know the reason behind your hatred towards kids. Why did you lie about kids to mom and dad? He can sense the pain in your voice, but still he tried to avoid. Again, this topic. I told you to not bring this topic. At this moment, I don't want kids. That's it. Please don't bring this topic again. He pushed your hand, but this time you stood in front of him. That is what I want to know. You used to be lovely and caring since day one of our marriage, but from a few months you are not talking with me properly, not coming home properly, and when I ask about kids or talk about kids, you say to not bring that topic. What's wrong with you, Jungkook? Tears started building in your eyes. Do you know how much pain I'm going through? You know how much I love kids, but still you are saying like this. Whenever I see kids in my clinic, I always wish to have mine. Please, Jungkook, think about my emotions too. Just stop it, Vyan. Why are you being like this? I told you to not bring this topic, but again and again you are irritating me with this topic. Can't we live happily without kids? Don't bring this topic again. He shouted at you and went to the bathroom. But you are scared to see his anger and loud voice. He never shouted at you even for a joke. But today you felt heartbroken about the words, "Can't we live without kids?" You cried for a while and went downstairs cleaning your face as your in-laws called you. Later, you all having dinner. You didn't talk with Jungkook and was having your food silently. Even your in-laws asked about your dull face, but you said something to cover up. As you felt bad for Jungkook's earlier behavior, you started ignoring him. Why? And I'm sorry. You didn't respond and laid on the bed, back facing him, as you didn't want to see his face at that moment. He also laid on the bed beside you, back facing you. You both were deeply thinking about your problems. I think I should not be late. Vyan deserves happiness. She doesn't deserve all this. I will sort this night. He took out some papers from the nightstand drawer and walked your side. Vyan, I want you to sign on these papers. At first, you ignored, but when he said unexpected words, you got up and read those papers. Vyan, please sign on these divorce papers. I don't want you to suffer with me. What are you talking, Jungkook? Divorce papers? Why did you take this decision now? Tell me what all this. For a while, he remained silent, looking down as he didn't has courage to answer you.
Ryan, I'm sorry to say this. We can never have kids in this life because because I'm infertile, Ryan. Your eyes widen after hearing his words as you are shocked with the news. What? Infertile? Jungkook, you are lying to our kids, right? Say it's a lie. He lifted his head up with tears in his eyes and nodded no because it was true. No, Ryan, it's true. I got to know when I did a body checkup. I can't have kids forever, Ryan. When I got to know about this news, I was worried about you because I know how much you love kids. That's why I'm avoiding you. I'm avoiding because I'm scared you might leave me. I'm scared you might hate me. I don't want you to go from my life. I cannot live without you, Ryan. I feel sad whenever you ask about kids. If anyone tells about their pregnancy news that I cannot give you that. Because of that, I always told you to not bring that topic. He was shedding tears. You can see how much pain he was carrying in these days. Ryan, not only you, I also love kids, but God didn't give that luck to me. That's why, please sign on these papers. You deserve someone better, Ryan. He hung his head down as he couldn't look straight into your eyes. Then you lifted his head up by keeping his face and told him while wiping his tears. Who said, I deserve better when I have the best? Tell me one thing. What if I'm infertile? Will you leave me and say you deserve better? You asked, looking straight into his eyes. No, I will never do that, Ryan. Right? Like you, I will also never do that. I want child, that's true, but not at the cost of leaving you, Jungkook. I can live without kids, but I cannot live with. But you like to have kids, right? Technology has improved a lot. We will consult the specialist. Till we don't have a chance, then we can go for adoption. There are many kids who don't have parents. If we do that, child will get parents' love and we can also build a lovely family. These many days I felt like living in hell. I was so worried how to convey this. I was scared of your reaction. I was scared that you would leave me. But now you are answered to all my worries, Ryan. Thank you so much for accepting like this, Ryan. I'm really happy and also lucky to have you. He kissed on your forehead and quickly hugged you. Then you also hugged him in return. I will always be with you, Jungkook. You are my everything. You both consoled each other and stood as support system for each other and his parents who stood outside the room shed tears of joy and high each other for you both being together. As they felt something wrong with your behavior with Jungkook, they came to know the reason. But before they endured the saw, Jungkook talking about divorce, as the serious discussion was happening, they waited outside to let you both complete it. As there are less chances, you and Jungkook adopted a 3 month baby who left by parents and you both decided to donate half of your earnings to kids who don't have parents.